A little girl saved up her allowance for weeks, and when she went to the dollar store to purchase something, she found these pretty little plastic pearls, a necklace, which she was very proud of because she had bought them, and they looked nice, and she wore them very, very proudly. She liked them so much, her plastic pearls from the dollar store, liked them so much that she wore them all day long to school, wore them on the weekends, even sometimes wore them to sleep and to bed at night. And her dad was a very good dad, and he was very into making sure that the family prayed together. And every evening he would go into her, and he would say a prayer with his daughter. And so on this one particular night, he went into her, and they said their prayer together. And then he said to her, honey, do you love me? And she said, Dad, of course, you know I love you. And he said, well, you know, I love you too. He said, but, you know, since you do love me, could you give me your, your pearls that you're wearing? And the little girl said, oh, no, Dad, I, I can't give them up. But you know what? How about I give you the doll that's over there in the corner? Well, Dad wasn't really interested at all in the doll. So he kind of said, oh, no, that's fine. Don't worry about that. And a few more days went by, about a week, and... One night when he was in there, he said to her, Honey, do you love me? And she said, Yes, Dad, you, you know that I love you. And he said, You know, I love you too. And he goes, Well, you know, honey, would you give me the pearls that you're wearing? And she said, No, I can't give them up. I, I just cannot do that. I'm not willing to do that. And, you know, but uh, I, I need these. I, I can't do it without them. So she said, But, Dad, you know, you can have the blanket that's over in the corner. And he said, No, I'm not interested in the blanket. A few more days went by, and one night when he went in to say the prayer with her, he noticed that she was kind of wispy and kind of teary-eyed. She didn't look very happy. So he sat down with her, and, and he said, Honey, what's wrong? And she said, Well, you know, Dad, you've been asking me for my pearls. And uh, she said, I know you're going to ask me probably for them again. And she said, You know, I've really thought about it, and I'm willing to give them up. So she took them off and looked from her neck, put them in her hand, and she gave them to her dad, who at the same time took out a pretty velvet blue box. And he opened it up, and he said, since you're giving up the fake ones, I'm going to give you now the real ones. So he gave her a beautiful set of real pearls, a treasure. My friends, that's very much what God wants to do with each one of us as well. Only God has the real treasure. Only God has the real deal in our lives. And that is the gift of a personal relationship with Him. It is the gift of being able to spend time with Him in prayer. It is being able to be a part of His family. It is being able to one day have the hope of eternal and everlasting life. And in our Gospel reading today, we really get a sense of God, of Jesus, saying to the people that they need to stay focused. They need to be doing what they're about and not get too distracted by many other things. He's really saying to them, don't worry so much about the fake stuff in life, but concentrate on the real things. And that is a relationship with him. To gird your loins and be prepared. These are not words to be scared of. These are not words that we should be afraid to hear because one day God is going to come knocking on our door. Rather, these are words that should give us great comfort in knowing that we have a relationship with Him. In knowing that He loves us so much that He poured into each one of us the gift of Himself. He made us in His image and in his likeness. There is no one in the world like each one of us. In his incredible creativity, he gave us gifts and talents. He gave us great purpose. He gave us the ability to make decisions. He gave us the ability to think. He gave us the ability to accumulate possessions but we have to make sure that none of those things that he gave us, none of the great gifts, talents, abilities that he gave to us, that we 
allow those things to get in the way of him, whether it be power or material possessions or control or an addiction or whatever it might be. They cannot get in the way of God. Because when we're holding on to something of the world in an unhealthy manner, we cannot receive from him his grace in a healthy manner. We have to be able to have that balance of making sure that our hands are ready to give up to God what he wants, what he needs, and the excess in our own life or the non-important things in our lives so that we can have a hand that is open to receive his beauty, including the beauty of in a few moments receiving the Eucharist as you come forward to receive communion. Think of giving up whatever has happened in this week that maybe you're not proud of, or whatever it is that's standing in your relationship with God and making room for Him. Making room for Him there in your own personal self. Being able to share that gift that He gives to us. I especially say this because I'm sorry to tell you this, boys and girls, but you're going back to school this week or the week after. You probably know this already because maybe you've been out shopping or whatnot, but it's coming up quickly. It's an exciting time. It's going to be a great year for you. But I also say this to families in general because at this time of year, after the summer, we all look forward to the summer because it's maybe a little less scheduled, hopefully. Maybe a little more time on our hands. Time to get away or time to just kind of be as a family. But very often, as school gets started, we tend to fill the calendar with things. We get very busy. And that's, make, that's having a lot of stuff in our hands, which makes it so that we don't have room for God. So as we go through this year, make sure that there's a, a good balance there in some way. For each one of us, whether you have children or not, I think time is probably one of the most precious gifts. And if we do not allow God to have some time with us, well, then we're really not going to get to know him. He's always there for us. He wants us to be there for him as well. Because one day he's going to call us home. And he's going to say, I, I need you in heaven now. I hope that we will be ready to greet him. I hope we will be able to know him already because we have known him and loved him and served him here on this earth. But I also think it's important for us today to think if there's anything that gets in the way of our relationship with God, of learning more about him, of growing closer to him. What's there is a barrier with the Lord. Whatever it might be, it's time to give it up so we can receive the real treasure that he longs to give to us. Because whatever it might be, it may seem very important, but nothing is more important than God. And I'm often reminded of a very simple quote that I often think of when I make decisions in my own life of what to do away with, where to go, what to do. It's very simple. It goes like this. If not now, then when? If not here, then where? If not you, then who? And if not for the kingdom, then why?